Hi everyone, let's get into your second part of your mandala. So you want to open Adobe Illustrator and you might have something that looks like this now where you have a couple files available so you might just see the work you had done um, but otherwise you want to go to wherever you saved it. So you want to be aware of where you're saving files, keep them saved in the same spot. Now we can open them. You can also sometimes go to file and open recent and then I'll show you any files that are recently opened. So once you have your mandala open, uh, this is what we're going to do. We're going to make the map of our circle and we're going to resize our pie piece to fit into one of those eight sections. So we're going to start working with layers in Adobe. Let me close out this little box of color because I don't need it. And let me also shrink my interface so you can see the entire thing. So over here in this uh, the panels area. You have properties, layers, libraries. That's probably what you have. You at least will have properties and layers. Make sure you go into the layers. Oops, that's not something we want to deal with. Go into layers and you see something looks like this. <clears throat> so what you want to do is come down here and see how it says create new layer. Click on that and once this new layer is made, what we're going to do is to make things a little bit easier on our eyes is we're going to toggle the eye so we don't see our pie piece and we're going to lock that layer so that way nothing we do can change it by accident. So once that's done and you're in layer 2, make sure layer 2 is highlighted because it won't let you work now. If I try and work in layer 1, it's not going to let me. Make sure you're in layer 2. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make a circle and divide it up. So you want to come over here to your shapes and you want to go to your ellipse and once you have your ellipse chosen and you have your bullseye just click on your artboard and you'll get this option to create an actual size for your ellipse. You want it to be 16 wide by 16 high so type that in 16 inches by 16 inches. And once you type that in hit OK and I'll give you a circle that's the perfect size. What you're going to do is switch from the bullseye because this is going to have you just make more circles we don't want to do that. Hit V on your keyboard to activate your selection tool and take the center of that circle and drag it to the center of the page. And what should happen is when you get to the center, um, it's going to actually tell you where the center is. It'll A little magenta word will pop up saying center. And it can be a little hard to find. Up oh, there it is right here. But what we can do is you can also use your rulers to actually tell you exactly where the center is. If you're not getting that center notification, you can go to view and go down to rulers and show rulers. And now we have nice measuring tools up here. And since this is 17 wide, if we want to divide this can this artboard in half, we want to go to eight and a half. Now if I click at eight and a half with my direct selection tool, a little guide will show up just like this. This tells me where that line is. Now if I click, if I go on this side, let me click over here to where I get to eight and a half. You want to make sure that these, if I click here, nothing happens. See if I click on the artboard, nothing will happen. I have to click on the ruler and if these look off to you, it's probably because your ruler is not correct. It's probably because you clicked in the wrong spot. So if they don't look correct, then um, that's what you should do is re readjust it. And let's do, also with your circle, let's see, you might have to readjust where it is. So now it's in the center. And what I'm going to do is divide up my circle into eighths because I have one eighth of a pie piece to copy and paste. So what I'll do is I'm going to go over here to my tools and go to my line tool. And I can take, I can hover right over this guide and I can just draw a line directly down my artboard. And it's okay if it goes beyond the circle, you're just going to delete these later. See how this says intersect and guide? That tells me I'm exactly where I want to be. So now I have, if I look at it, they're really thin. I'm going to make them a little bit darker just so you can see them. You don't have to make yours darker. Your, your strokes or whatever you can see is fine. I just want to make them darker so you can see it on mine. 
So now I have my circle divided up into fours. I'm going to divide it a few more times. And I'm going to take this line segment tool again. And if I go into the corner here, what I can actually do is if I hold down shift to my keyboard, shift will, as you might be noticing, will make everything perfect. So if I hold down shift and draw a line, I get an exact 45 degree angle. I don't have to worry about how perfect it is. And then same thing if I come to the corner, hold down shift and draw a line across, I get a perfect 45, 45 degree line. Now to make them in the correct spot, I just go back to V on my keyboard. I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm going to click on this and drag it to the center and click on this and drag it to the center. And now I have a pie piece that's very easily divided. So if I come back on here, I'm going to actually click where it says layer 2 and label this circle. And I'm going to click here. Original. I'm going to label that circle an original. And the last thing I'm going to do, because Adobe works in layers, so whatever layers on the bottom will be on the bottom when, I, when you do colors and whatnot. Whatever layers on top will be on top. So it's kind of like stacking a bunch of panes of glass, and whatever you have at the bottom um, is the hardest to see. So I'm going to take this layer and click on it, and I'm going to hold down my mouse and drag it till I get a blue line just like this underneath the layer one, pie piece original. And once I do that, I've just moved my layer down. So now my circle's at the bottom, my pie piece is on top. The reason I'm doing that is because later on I'm going to fill my circle with color, and I don't want that to block up my pie pieces. Right now my circle's just white. So I'm going to lock my circle. I'm going to keep it visible because I want to actually see if my pie piece fits. And now I'm going to start making sure my pie piece, I'm going to unlock it so I can move it. I'm going to make sure it actually fits in one of these little areas. So this is another time when shift is going to be really important. because what we want to do is make sure that we don't change the size or proportion of this. So right now it's much bigger than I want it to be. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to hold down shift. And this is just going to be a little bit of patience as you resize it and angle it to fit. So just as a reminder, anytime you resize your work, hold down shift on your keyboard. You know, you can't see me doing it, but if you don't hold shift down, you're going to warp your artwork and make it look really weird and probably not good. So hold down shift that whole time. Also, when you grab your artwork, grab it on a piece of your drawing. If you grab on the white spot, you won't actually move anything. That looks pretty close. And yeah, that's all you're going to do for your, your part two. So you have your circle made, you have your pie piece, and then we'll do one more thing before we start doing copy paste. We'll just make any final edits to this now that we have the right size. We'll fix any little mistakes like this open piece here. We might add some paintbrush effects, and we'll do that before we start doing copy paste.